That is right, my friends. Early Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Exo Zombies gameplay. This is the brand new Carrier Exo Zombies map. We're going to be having a look at it. We've got 15 minutes worth. As you can see, you start on the outside of the carrier, and it's a pretty impressive ship, to say the least. On the loading screen here, you can get a look at the loadout of the map if you guys want to take a look at it. Uh, you know where any of the perks are, so when you jump in, you know exactly what the layout's like. But it's very, very well laid out. A lot of the doors actually have names on them, so you know exactly which part of the map you're going into. Which just means getting around is a load easier. And uh, a lot of the classic Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 zombies map, I think just getting to know where you're going and moving around the map can be a little bit tricky at first. But with the map design here you can get on Carrier, it, it's very easy even when you're jumping in for the very first time. So as I said, 15 minutes worth of gameplay. This is from the brand new Supremacy map pack. For Advanced Warfare, the third map pack is going to be coming out first on Xbox One tomorrow. Uh, Xbox One and Xbox 360, so all Xbox platforms first. And then around about a month later for PC and PlayStation users, this Supremacy map pack will include, include, include this one right here, which is the Exo Zombies map. And it's going to also include four multiplayer maps, one of them being a remake of the Modern Warfare 2 map. High rise, it's I'd say identical. Like, if there are any changes, they're very minimal or just visual changes. And I'll be covering that brand new map later today, early. And then there'll be three other brand new multiplayer maps, and I'll be covering them as well here on the channel. So, do not worry, my friends. But today, the focus is indeed this Exo Zombies map. So, the first time I ever played this map, we just went around, sort of unlocking all the doors, getting, no, getting our way around the map. We went straight to the middle section here, which is a very, very nice open area, which is where you actually pick up your Exo suit. And it's a great place to head into and actually just keep zombies on lockdown pretty much for like your whole run if you really want to have a lot of space and get around the map very easily. It's a great, great place to be. Really, really recommend it. But a lot of the action will force you inside when you've got all of the infected rounds, when you've got the bomb that needs to be defused. All of that is going to be covered within this video. So this is a very, very cool infinite ammo new drop. You don't even need to reload. So with this pistol here, you can see me just spamming away. I was like, holy cow, like I'm not reloading. This doesn't just mean you get unlimited ammo. It means you don't even have to reload. And I actually got it with a shotgun later on as well. This is the 3D printer, which is actually very close to uh, where you start. It's not very far at all. Uh, you can actually see one of the new guns cycling through there. I used the 3D printer, I think, twice within this footage. And on my second attempt, I managed to get the brand new gun. Some people, uh, when we were recording this early DLC, just didn't get the brand new gun at all. And they played a lot of zombies. So I got pretty lucky. And the new gun is an absolute beast. It's an unusual, but we'll take a look at it. Do not worry. So this is heading back towards the starting area. Just going to go back and pick up one of the drops here because you will get some drops that come outside. It's always useful to have these in your back pocket to help you out a little bit. And uh, it also leads on to uh, another section of the map as well if you go up top to follow up these stairs. You can see here it's going to melee spree. <gasps> like literally just one by one. Pow, pow, pow. Knocking down these zombies. Now the starting area that I was in which was outside the ship. You can actually spawn inside, just on the other side of the starting room that I'm in. So you do actually have two different places you can potentially spawn in, which is worth noting because you may play this for the first time and think, wait a second, Ali spawned outside. Why am I spawning inside? There's literally just a gate in between. That gate can't be opened, but it will vary where you spawn, so it's worth noting. This is the first time using the 3D printer. Here I pick up the shotgun, and as you can imagine, this automatic shotgun when you've got the infinite um, ammo perk or the drop, sorry, will just be absolutely insane and just mashes things up. Now the dog's round here, returning from Exo Zombies again. And this is a very, very cool room. Uh, it's got a very, very fun little sort of toy mini game, which I'll show you guys in a second. And again, I, I just got really lucky on, my, on this playthrough, to be honest. So if you go over here, you can see this very, very large wall. And what you do is you actually shoot it with a grenade. You've got to aim into the hole here. You can see me shooting in a grenade. And then it will fall down. If you have a look. Boom! 1,000 points, which is the maximum amount of points you can get from this machine on my first ever attempt. <laughs> Basically, you throw in grenades into the little hole you can see there, and depending on where the ball lands, it'll just give you that amount of points. It's a fantastic way of just getting a butt ton of points very, very easily, but the machine will start get to get harder and harder and harder, so it gets uh, a lot harder to actually use and a lot harder to actually aim the grenades in there. I was obviously rushing this, I wasn't taking it too seriously, but you can see the holes do get very, very small. And my grenades just went everywhere. I thought that one was going to go in, but not quite. 
But the crazy thing is, there is actually a grenade um, wall drop. We can just go and buy grenades off the wall within this room as well. So, I mean, you typically, I mean, I mean, guess you could just go ahead and really abuse this system and get yourself a lot of points. But it does get extremely hard to actually aim and be accurate. So that's the downside. But it's a very, very cool little mini game. Definitely use it when you get a chance here we get something very interesting. We actually get a bomb that has to be defused. But there aren't just bombs that have to be defused. There are actually players or enemies that are actually dressed up in military uniform that actually shoot at you, like, with guns. Very, very different to anything we have seen, my friends, on uh, any of the other Exo Zombies uh, maps, which is very interesting. But make sure you're watching out for them because they are very, very strong and you're not going to expect to be shot from a long distance when you're playing zombies. This, my friend, is the beast. The awesome, a brand new drop where you get flame-crushing spinny spike balls around you. And you can just go around walking into zombies and feel like you're invincible, which you are technically. It's an absolutely beast drop. We mentioned it within the trailer if you guys saw the early DLC trailer. And this is me casually getting the brand new gun on my second ever attempt in the box. As you do, absolutely beasting it. The brand new weapon, my friend, right here. The LZ-52 Limbo. Which is a beast. It works very, very similarly to the way that I mentioned within the trailer. Within the trailer, it looks like it's almost firing a laser beam. That's not really the case. It actually shoots out a ball that sends out a line, a horizontal line, um, basically across the map. But that line isn't constant and doesn't say at a constant altitude. It'll actually dip down and it'll also move. It'll tilt a little bit as well. So you've got to aim it a little bit higher than you'd expect if you want to go for those longer range kills. But it does mash up zombies. Now, as far as I used it, it one hit killed zombies all the rounds I played till. Um, however, when the line, the sort of laser line gets low, it will chop off the zombies' legs and turn them into crawlers. So it won't technically insta-kill them, which is something to worth, uh, worth noting. But it's extremely useful if you get really, really close to them. They're in a massive group. Just pop one of those off. It's going to mash them all up, man. And it is absolutely awesome. Works very, very well in tight situations when you're in like close quarters inside, as you can see here. We're going to be going to a very interesting room. Look at these sharks! Like, what? The first time I saw them, I was like, are you mad? Look how many teeth they are just casually hanging on the back of the carrier ship that we are on. There's actually one right out in the open here, and there's loads in the tank, but they're actually still alive. Now, we played this map quite a lot. We, I mean, we only had like a few hours to record all of the, uh, the DLC. So obviously you have to distribute the time effectively to make the best videos for you guys and record the most amount of stuff. But I, I just, I really hope there's some way to get one of those sharks to either come out of the tank or maybe like fight a shark. You know what I mean? But we couldn't find any way of doing it. I just thought it'd be really awesome if that was something we could do. Um, but there is sort of hints at like the ability to maybe go in the water or sort of go uh, scuba diving. There's lots of suits around the map. Uh, there's actually a cage, uh, which I jump into in a, at one point in this recording as well. And I point out to you, point out to you guys. But I think that's me just being, you know, like zombies always has loads of Easter eggs, right? And really pushes the boundary of Call of Duty and what you would expect from a map. So that's probably just me getting really oversight excited and just wishing that they do something with the awesome sharks. But it probably won't happen. Once the community and once myself gets more of a chance to play the map properly once it comes out tomorrow, uh, June the 2nd. Uh, maybe we will find some cool little secrets. We'll have to find out. We'll have to find out. Of course, as always, getting hold of your EXO is the main priority. And one of the first, actually, additions that I got to my EXO, which I forgot to mention, uh, is actually the fact that it's basically like uh, expanded ammo, which means that all of the weapons you hold and the grenades you hold, the maximum cap uh, capacity is increased. So you can see I'm holding, I believe, five grenades here. And the ammo of both my weapons is more than the maximum would be. Uh, so it's a very, very useful perk, especially with this brand new weapon to be able to hold even more. So it works very, very well. Brand new perk and uh, would definitely recommend picking it up. I mean, just grab as many of the perk machines as you can. Of course, being sensible with the amount of points you have because uh, they're all going to be really, really useful. And as you know, in Exo Zombies, having as many of those perks is really useful for when you do go down. Now, in front of me, you can see a teleporter. This teleporter was linked to loads of other random teleporters around the map and is a good way of getting out of a tricky situation. And if there are any zombies on the teleporter when you go in it, it will kill them. So you can use it tactically as well. 
I didn't use it very much. I like to know where I'm going. I don't want to suddenly randomly appear in a place. But if you are in a tight situation, then it can be very useful. Here we can see the infected round kicking in, my friends. The infected zombies are coming out and they're trying to infect us. We ain't having any of that. And I remembered that there was, of course, the infected pad back here. So I headed back to this area. Very open room again. Another really, really nice room, to be honest. To getting zombies in and uh, sort of controlling them a little bit. Here, I knock into the cage. I'm like, what the heck? What was that cage thing? And then I look up and I'm like... That looks like you can do something with it. And there's a big opening on the floor. Like, can you open it? Can you go in the water? Oh, probably not. Again, just me being excited and uh, wishing that something cool could happen. But hey, when you guys get your hands on the map, feel free to fiddle around with things, shoot things. Try and see if anything awesome unlocks because who knows. Maybe, just maybe there is something you can do there. I did go up and try and shoot it down. You know, you've got to try things out, you know, to make sure that these things aren't impossible or maybe are possible. And I thought maybe I could chop down it with my awesome laser weapon. Didn't quite work, unfortunately. But as I said, once you guys get hold of the maps tomorrow, I'm sure there'll be loads of people testing out different things. And we'll be able to find out some very, very cool secrets on this map. As I said, I think this is a very, very good map. I had a lot of fun. You can't go up there. It looks like it's maybe a place you can jump onto, but it's not the case. I really like the structure of this map. It balances open areas with very tight areas. You're going to have to be going back to the infected pads when the infected round comes. Now, there is a big bad boss zombie that was the same, uh, or very similar, sorry, to the Burger Town map, which we had last time, where the massive electrifying zombie would come. Unfortunately, he just didn't appear for us. I believe the, the big boss zombie appears anywhere between round 15 and 22. Um, but unfortunately for us, he just didn't appear when we were playing, so I didn't have a chance to show you guys. But uh, I'll try and do a proper playthrough for you guys on this brand new map when it comes out tomorrow. And I'm sure we'll bump into him and hopefully destroy him. But yes, very, very similar to um, basically the one, the big bad boss zombie we got last time on Burgertown map. I just covered my friend here, Alex, as he went ahead and actually defused the bomb for us. You've got to defuse the bomb. I mean, we didn't do it when we didn't defuse the bomb, but I'd assume, like... Like, maybe part of the map would get cut off, or I think, honestly, like, you could just fail instantly and the bomb goes off. So, you've got to prioritize it. It forces you to move around the map. Uh, there, I had, of course, the infinite ammo uh, pick up again. So, it meant I just went ahead and just spammed the ammo on my awesome, special, brand new weapon. And I did go ahead and upgrade it as well. Uh, the upgrade machine is actually right next to the uh, grenade um, point generator for those guys that wonder. It, it's not very obvious. It's basically a little slot just to the right of that grenade um, machine. And if you go up to it, you can then upgrade your gun. For any of you guys that are wondering where that is, that's where you need to go. Uh, for any of you guys that are looking to upgrade your weapons. I like upgrading it once just because of how badass the gun looks with the awesome green camo. And I'm a sucker for a good looking camo. And didn't quite have enough points in this run through, unfortunately, to go ahead and actually get up to the 20th upgrade of it. But you could get the awesome royalty camo if you do so. Things get tight, things get crazy on this playthrough, but we do a really good job, and considering there's only two of us playing, not four, we did a good job of just trying to sort of do our own thing, make sure nothing's going too crazy, again, try to get on top of that. I was worried that maybe if I got on top of an area I shouldn't do, it'd just, like, kill me and end the game, but so I sort of just gave up, I was like, I'm not going near there, but yeah, I'm pretty sure you can't get up there and activate anything, unfortunately. Now, there are traps in different rooms that can be activated, and you may remember within the trailer, the uh, crazy little... Basically, like, tractor zombie destroying machine. That is in the center building, I believe, where you pick up your exosuit. And if you activate the trap, it will just start going around the map. Unfortunately, I didn't have a chance to use it, but some of the other guys did. And they told me how it works. For those of you guys that want to know how that works, go ahead into the middle room, activate the trap. And then you can have the big crushing machine going around, helping you out, destroying all of the zombies. Things are getting close here, but as you can see, these guns just, like, mad. Like, it's an instant KO. <laughs> But his ammo is very low, even with the extra ammo um, uh, perk I had rocking. You've got to be sensible with it. You can't spam it too much. Um, and as I said, like, it's very sort of weird in the way that his path actually goes around. Here we can get some sentinel reinforcements. Unfortunately, I had like three uh, additional kill streaks locked and loaded. So I couldn't go ahead and pick up that fourth one. And I kind of forgot about it when I went away, so I didn't have a chance to pick it up. I believe it just brings in some reinforcements to help you guys out. Similar to the guys with guns that were basically protecting the bomb earlier, except they're on your side this time. So that's pretty cool. Uh, another one of the things you can pick up. So here we are doing well. There are two different types of dogs and zombies. Brand new types of dogs and zombies. And they're the teleporting ones. Again, I mentioned this within the trailer preview we got. And these guys will literally teleport around and appear very close to you and can really take you off guard. So it's very much worth paying attention, realizing you're not always going to be safe and not always going to have to wait for the standard zombies. 
because the zombies with the teleportation ability can literally just pop up and suddenly be next to you and you're going to be in a very bad situation. So here we go guys, we have taken a look at pretty much all of the map, all of the brand new stuff and loads and loads more. There is also a teleporting grenade which allows you to throw it and then teleport to that position. There you go, you see one of the teleporting zombies pop out of nowhere with a blue exosuit. Unfortunately, I didn't manage to pick up the teleporting grenade, but the teleporting grenade can be gotten from the uh, 3D printer. For those of you guys that are wondering, which is very, very cool. So scavenge through there, keep on going through, and you can get one of the brand new uh, grenades as well. So tons of awesome new stuff in total. The brand new weapon is the main thing, so hope you guys enjoyed some early gameplay of that. And it is upgraded. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Let me know if you want to see a big, long playthrough of this here on the channel when the DLC drops tomorrow. If you have enjoyed, give it a thumbs up. As I said, early high-rise gameplay and all the other maps coming later today as well. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. You are beautiful people. And I'll see you tomorrow with another brand new DLC video.